Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one's gonna be all about your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. What are the energies between you and what can you expect in the near future? Keep in mind that these readings are general so they cannot and will not resonate with every Capricorn watching every single time. So take what resonates for you. If you find that this does not resonate much for you, then check out the Capricorn playlist in the description box. There's a ton of readings there for your sign. All right, let's jump right in. For Capricorn, Spirit Angels, guides. What messages do you have regarding their connections this time? Energies between Capricorn and their person. We need to know. Capricorn, if you are looking to learn how to interpret the tarot for love, or you just want to know what's going on in these YouTube readings, <laughs> check out my book, Love Tarot Made Easy. It's this book that you see here. It's available on Amazon with Prime Shipping, and it's linked in the description box if you want to check that out. Okay, let's see what we have for you. Main energy, Seven of Cups. The Nine of Swords, on your end, we have the Page of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So I kind of see you here perhaps waiting for some sort of information to come in, some sort of message to come in. On their side, we have Strength, Leo Energy, and the Ace of Swords. So they might be communicating here or have something to tell you. Let's put down the future energies down here. Overall, energy at the bottom of the deck the nine of sword nope nine of wands nine of swords is right here okay so with the nine of swords and the nine of wands i'm thinking that something has already taken place between you and this person both of your energies are here so um the nine of wands is somebody that's been through a lot and is still affected by what has taken place um they're a bit wary a bit guarded um they don't trust easily the nine of wands so i feel like there's something going on here capricorn it could be you could be the person you're dealing with where there is kind of like anxiety or uh an uncertainty about what's going on in this connection seven of cups nine of swords maybe an option or a choice that someone needs to make is difficult let's see what are the energies between capricorn and this other person's spirit. What are the energies between Capricorn and this other person? Secret admirer, okay. So someone here is watching you, observing you, or vice versa, keeping tabs on the other person. Tell me more about the energies here. Okay, I got two. Cold shoulder and burning passion. So with Secret Admirer and Cold Shoulder, I'm getting like very little communication, not a lot of interaction, someone's feeling far away, withdrawn. Um, interesting. There's clearly interest with Burning Passion, like someone feels attracted or passionate about the other person. There's chemistry. So let's get some clarity here. So can I get some clarity, please, for Capricorn? On Capricorn. Okay, tell me about the Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. The Eight of Cups. So one of you might have walked away from the other or is maybe thinking about walking away. Maybe walking away from a particular situation has been difficult as well. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, long-term commitment, stability. Interesting. So someone could have walked away from a commitment here. Or it could be that someone's hoping that wherever they're headed towards, it, there's a Ten of Pentacles waiting for them. So why the Nine of Swords? Why is the Nine of Swords here? 
strength, Leo energy. So someone is needing courage or strength. I feel like someone's like worried about something and it's like it's eating them up. Because strength is about controlling a situation or bringing something under control without forcing it. It's like you're letting things unfold naturally and being strong while that's happening, using a different approach, an approach that's not so forceful, etc., etc. So it's almost like someone's worried. You could also be dealing with a Leo, someone with Leo in their chart. Can I get one more, please, for this Nine of Swords? Why is this Nine of Swords here? The Hermit, Virgo energy, withdrawn, seeking answers. This is very interesting. Let's look at the Seven of Cups and we'll kind of look at all of this together. What can you tell me about this Seven of Cups energy for Capricorn? What can you tell me, Spirit, about the Seven of Cups? The Devil. There you are, Capricorn. Tell me more about this Seven of Cups. Ten of Wands. So there's something difficult here. The devil is about restriction, temptations, desires. Um, so I can I can read this in two ways because this is a Capricorn reading, right? So this devil um, card could be that this is related to you in some way. Maybe you're carrying a burden. Maybe you're trying to make different choices for yourself, or someone's making choices related to you. If this is like Capricorn um, feeling restricted or tempted or just kind of this obsessive kind of energy that I kind of picked up over here, it could be that someone's like holding on to something a little bit too long here with the Ten of Wands or dealing with a difficulty too long, an attachment, you know? I feel like this is... Um, this is going to be different for all of you because I feel like some of you are affected by what's going on with another person or something happening in your life and you're wanting to make some sort of decision about that you have anxieties worries about where you're headed next and then others of you i feel like this is your person in this like state of mind it's like someone's is is, is trying to make the right choice here so that they're headed towards this ten of pentacles and, you know, it's interesting because I feel like whoever this is that you're dealing with Capricorn, you're not together. Why would you secretly admire someone if you're with them, right? It doesn't really make much sense. So let's get some insight into your energies here for each other. Tell me about the energies between Capricorn and this other person here. Capricorn, I have you on the left. I have your person on the right. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you that way because the energies can be vice versa reverse okay tell me about capricorn's energy spirit what do we need to know about capricorn's energy when it comes to this connection wow the whale the whale is very wise the whale has lived enough to learn and gain wisdom very calm, compassionate energy. This is someone that has grown and matured. I feel like this is probably the energy that you have in this connection. Maybe you've grown or matured since this connection started, or this is where you are in your life right now, feeling very stable and like you already know what you're about and what you're looking for. The whale tends to be a little bit older energy, so you could be older than this person, or you've just, you know, are in an you're an adult and have lived already a few cycles. Because the whale has reached like the status of um, understanding, right? That only you can have with learning from a lot of mistakes. This could be how you view this person as well. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with. What can you tell me about this other person? What do we need to know? 
of this other person. The frog. So the frog is all about healing, renewal, cleansing. So your person is maybe healing from a situation, hoping to heal this connection, going through some sort of cycle where maybe it's helping them get rid of something or heal from something. Tell me more about Capricorn. What do we need to know about Capricorn's energy? I hate the distance between us. Yeah, you're not with this person. Maybe you feel far away from this person. Maybe you're physically distant from this person. Because we have cold shoulders. So there's like a coldness here. Tell me about the person Capricorn is, has, or will be dealing with. I see you in my dreams. Thinking about you. Dreaming of you. Let's see. I'm going to look at where my fingers were cutting the deck here. I want a second chance. I don't know what to do. Okay. I'm going to get one more. For each of you. Can I get one more energy, please, for Capricorn and this other person? Spirit, can I get one more energy, please, for Capricorn and this other person? Wow, we have gift. So an offer of some sort. I'm putting it back because I haven't asked Spirit whose energy I want yet. Spirit, tell me about Capricorn's energy, please. What do we need to know? about Capricorn's energy. What do we need to know? Pathway. So pathway is like you have a long way to go to reach your destination. I'm also getting that energy of distance. There's like a distance between you and where you want to be or a distance between you and this other person. Or maybe your connection has lasted a long time, but you're not quite there yet. That kind of energy. Tell me about... Tell me about, oh, you can't really see. Let me move the. Oh, I don't know how to show both like that. Okay, you can kind of see. Is my tripod too low? No, okay. Okay, that's kind of the best I can do. What I can do is I can move this so you guys can see. That's better. <laughs> I will get this. Okay, it's a little bit better. Okay, Capricorn, let's move on. Tell me about Capricorn's person. What do we need to know about this other person? The person that Capricorn is dealing with. What do we need to know? Adjudication. So this is someone waiting for a decision, waiting for a result, waiting for an outcome, waiting for something to pan out. And you do have this waiting energy as well with the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is someone that's kind of like wondering if things are gonna like work out if there's like a future if there's like a connection that will happen here if there's like a good outcome all of your hard work will it be worth it you know okay so let's look at this page of swords and seven of pentacles here on your side what can you tell me about the seven i mean nope the page of swords why do i want to say the seven of swords Tell me about the page of swords, please, spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about it. Okay. We have the hangman. So someone that is hanging around, seeing things from a different perspective. Not a lot of movement here with the hangman. What else can you tell me about the page of swords? Could be that someone's hesitating before speaking here. What about the page of swords five of swords okay there's the seven of pentacles again so capricorn when i see these energies here i feel like there's something important to talk about maybe 
you want to get to the truth of something here. Maybe you want to know someone's real intentions. Maybe you want to talk about a certain conflict or, um, you know, maybe you're wondering if someone's like playing you here. I feel like you've been waiting for something to happen with the seven of pentacles. Tell me about the seven of pentacles. Why is the seven of pentacles here? The seven of swords. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you. I think a lot of you are wondering if you're being lied to, if you're being played, if someone told you something just to say it, but it hasn't really followed through here. Yeah, ace of pentacles. You're waiting for this ace of pentacles, but it hasn't arrived. Maybe someone told you they were, they were going to propose or... Maybe they alluded to making an offer of some sort, but it hasn't happened. I feel like you're still waiting for this. And if that resonates for you, let me know in the comments. Are you waiting for an outcome, an offer? Are you waiting for a proposal, some sort of sign from this person? Let's look at your person. Tell me about strength. Why is strength here, spirit? The Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn. It's not a Capricorn reading without the Queen of Pentacles showing up. <laughs> At least on my channel. Tell me about strength, please. Tell me about strength. Strength has shown up twice. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. This is about courage, I feel. Courage, because they have the, we have the Eight of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords. Tell me about strength. Maybe there's someone that needs courage to speak up with the Ace of Swords here. There's the Chariot, Cancer Energy, Movement, Action, headed towards a um, certain path here. And we have the King of Wands. So this is someone that needs courage to take some sort of action. But I feel like when it comes time to take action, they're scared. The magicians at the bottom of the deck so maybe this is someone that needs to um, have courage to manifest what they really want to, to make happen here why is the ace of swords here some of you are dealing with a person that needs to be divorced because judication and then the eight of swords with the queen of pentacles I'm thinking that this could be some sort of like commitment. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. That's not for everyone though. Page of Swords. Yeah, there's something that needs to be discussed here and it needs to come from your person. You just want to you just want to know the truth. You just want to know the truth. Tell me the truth. Queen of Wands. We have the King and Queen of Wands here. And the Queen of Pentacles could be someone else but i think more than anything this is like you just want to know what this person is going to do tell me about the ace of swords please nine of pentacles yeah i feel like there's someone that needs to be free of something or independent stable there's a star aquarius energy and maybe just it just hasn't happened yet i feel like some of you if you're dealing with someone that's like with a divorce scenario you're just waiting for them to be independent and they keep telling you they're going to be independent and it just hasn't happened yet. And I feel like your person needs courage. I think right now when I see their energy, I don't see action. I just see communication other than this chariot, but this chariot with eight of swords here and the king of wands, it's almost like they they need to no longer be scared to leave. That's kind of what I see here. Where's all of this headed? We have the knight of swords. Communication, Queen of Swords, more communication, and then the Queen of Wands again. Queen of Wands is reminding me of this burning passion energy. I think that this is somebody that wants is going to talk to you. That's what that's what what we need to focus on here because we got so many cards about a message, a communication. Because the Queen of Wands, she's the opposite of scared. She's fearless. She's bold. What she wants, she gets, and she makes sure that she gets it. So I have a feeling that someone here is going to communicate what they want or how they're going to get something. And that's like all that you've been wanting to know. But I think also Capricorn, some of you, this person has probably been telling you their plans for a long time. 
And now it's like, I don't want to hear about the plans anymore. anymore. I want to know what's actually going to happen. You know, and that's kind of what I'm seeing here. It's almost like some of you are losing faith in this person. Maybe you don't trust this person. Let me get one more, a hidden truth oracle for this individual. Spirit, tell me more about this other person that Capricorn is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about their energies here towards Capricorn, towards this connection? What do we need to know about this other person? I lost myself for a little while and bottom of the deck I bury myself in work to forget you interesting so I feel like this person has probably been a little back and forth um, I lost myself for a little while to me this is kind of like an energy of someone who is living in denial or they haven't really been doing or progressing in the way that they've hoped or want it to you know it's almost, it's almost like someone that's like I lost my way you know I lost my way I lost myself my true self during this time you know and it's like now I'm trying to find my way back but I feel like this I lost myself for a little while with I bury myself in work to forget you it's like it was perfect purposefully done like someone tried to forget or lose themselves in something else so they didn't have to focus on what was necessary, right? Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all hopefully in another video very soon. Take care.